Hello everybody and welcome back to DLD Customs. I know it's been a couple weeks since my last upload, but I had a few things happening and uh, I've been working a lot. And uh, So as you can see behind me here, I got the 2000 Chevy Silverado. But flip the camera around show you guys what's in front of me. So as you guys can see here, it's a 2001 Ford Escape. Uh, it's got a roughly 170, 170,000 miles on it. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the hood. I just got the latch popped. Show you guys what motor's in it real quick. Start off with that. Uh, it's got the 3.0 liter Ford V6. Um, doesn't look too bad. I mean, it's a beater. Uh, I actually paid $700 for this thing. Runs, it drives. Uh, the windows all work. Only problem is the door handle on the other side is a little messed up. And there's a little hole in the subframe uh, down up under here, which I'm not really worried about because, as you guys can see, this thing is a four-wheel drive vehicle. So this is what I bought for the winter. Uh, I'm going to get some nice, nice tires. I might keep the rims. I actually do kind of like the style of rims that are on these. I don't think they look too bad. I might take the center cap off and just buy some, like, uh, I was thinking, like, maybe red or black uh, lug nuts. I think that'd make it look a little bit better, but get some nice mud tires for it. Uh, I already got some parts over here. Sorry, I don't mind the trash. Just cleaning out the vehicles. Well, I haven't cleaned that one out yet because I want to show you guys what it looks like before the first time, like before I even started cleaning it, anything. Uh, already getting some packages up here. Well, this one's for this truck, but the other two are for the Escape there. I'll take you guys around. I mean, it's got a, it is an Ohio car. It's got some rust open up the door jam and yeah you know that's typical but up underneath of there it's not you know it's not too too bad uh the door skins right here are a little uh, like cloth lining fell off so they look kind of look ugly but i seen them on amazon for like 20 bucks or something so i was thinking about picking up a set of those it's got a little hitch on it that's kind of nice uh kind of i'm thinking about keeping this sticker ain't scared I'll probably get rid of the Wooly Auto sales though. I guess this vehicle's from Kentucky. This is where I've never seen that before. But yeah, I guess it's from Kentucky. It's not a bad little ride. Uh, I'll start it up here in a second and let you guys listen to it. Uh, like I said, I'm getting a bunch of parts. Uh, I've been looking at stuff. I might even throw a little lift kit on this thing, like three inches. Um, I mean, it's got, like I said, it's got that hole in the subframe, but other than that, it's really not that rusty up underneath there. I gotta go start this thing up, show you guys the inside. Uh, so, like I said, you know, there's trash. This thing needs cleaned out bad. Uh, well, the pop's mine, but, and the flashlights are mine, but. Uh, I did have a steering wheel cover on it. I took that off because uh, I don't, I don't, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like steering wheel covers uh, very much. I don't like the feel of them. Uh, and this one was really old and kind of nasty and breaking apart. Look, you can see the flakes shaking off of it. So gross. And then there, there's like trash and you know, here's the key and the cup holders are dirty. You know, all this is dirty. It did give me a turn signal ball, and that's kind of cool. show you guys the back that's my I was testing out the CD player and it does not work um, I like the seats it can fold down and stuff I think that's pretty cool because then you can turn it you know just like into oh, wrong one just like into you know I wouldn't say a truck but uh, you know have a lot more cargo space in the rear that's not bad I like it and it's enclosed I'll go ahead and open the trunk for you guys too and let you guys uh the only problem the glass when you open it uh it needs new shocks because it won't stay oh staying up for itself for a moment but yeah the shocks aren't very good so i'm gonna look into some new shocks but the glass or the actual door itself is fine i think they use the glass more than the door and that's why it uh, stays up a little bit better uh, this whole thing needs cleaned. I don't know what all this white powder stuff is, but I'm going to try to get rid of it. I'm not sure what I'm going to use yet. Uh, got the spare tire holder back here. 
Uh, this is just going to be like a video of uh, me showing off this my car to you guys, and then eventually I'll make some more videos. So like working on it and uh, honest, like you know my opinion on it. I mean, I'll, I'll give you guys my opinion on it as of right now, but obviously it'll be a little different in the future. Maybe it might be good. It might be worse. You never know. But yeah, this is the door handle I was talking about. I don't know. It feels like there's nothing. Like the little metal rods inside of there aren't connected to that one. But reaching here, it'll open from this the inside. So I'm not too too worried about it. Yeah, this thing is nasty. Look at that. That's gross. Yeah, I bought this off of an older couple um, in a town uh, probably about 10 minutes away from me. Uh, not too far away. Yeah, I was going to go to the BMV today. It's Saturday, but uh, kind of woke up late and didn't really feel about getting around to it. But stay tuned for more. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'm not sure if I'll add any more uh, parts to this or not, but yeah, it's definitely not a bad little ride. All the windows work, heat, AC, all that stuff. Four wheel drive works good. I already tested it out. I didn't go off road or nothing, but just, you know, went down the road, floor it in four wheel, made sure I didn't hear no clunks or clanks. But yeah, this thing's definitely not a bad little ride. Definitely got a lot of, gonna have a lot of upgrades coming soon. Uh, wanna get, I wanna get a bunch of stuff for this thing. So I got parts in the mail for this. I got parts in the mail for the Silverado. <laughs> About to be ordering some parts for the 88 Sierra, GMC Sierra in the back. Camry, right, I'll go show you guys the Camry, why not? Show you guys my disgusting barn that I've been cleaning for the last, feels like forever. Uh, so yeah, uh, barn's getting there, almost done. Got the Camry, uh, got all this stuff where the Camry was at, uh, out of here. Now I just gotta work on this mess and see what I can do from there. Cause eventually I wanna have the black truck in there. I wanna be able to park all my rides in there for the most part. But I just want to say thank you guys for watching this video. I'll give this thing a start up before I end it. Um, hi, Pop. Yeah, here's our stray dog that showed up here. Hi, Pop, Pop. Give this thing a little start for you guys. And then the next video, I think I'm going to be uh, just showing me cleaning it out and stuff. and Maybe doing a little bit of... I wouldn't say modifications to it. Oop, hold on, I gotta move it a little bit. Here we go. Sorry about that, guys. But here we go. Go ahead and start it up here. I have noticed it's got a little bit of a lower idle. I'm not a huge fan of where it's sitting. Yeah, see, now it went down to a thousand. That might just be common for these Ford's motors. I'm not too sure. I started with windshield windshield wipers are turned on uh it was raining the other day when i picked this thing up um doesn't get hot um i mean i looked them up they seem pretty decent on gas they're not too too bad uh pretty nice little ride so thank you guys for watching this video i hope you guys did uh leave a like leave a comment subscribe and all that stuff and stay tuned for more because i'm gonna be doing a lot of stuff to my vehicles here i've been saving to buy a vehicle and well i was going to go to a dealership and buy a nicer nice uh, like 15 20 thousand dollar truck but i ended up saying man if i just get a beater i can throw you know i can have some fun with it beat the crap out of it and you know not even care for freaking if i gotta scrap it at the end of the next year you know you know it is what it is but i want to get some nice parts for this thing for the sierra i want to do a bunch of stuff to both of those trucks for winter hits uh i'll probably probably wait to drop this thing till next spring and all that kind of stuff but thank you guys for watching this video stay tuned have a good one peace